Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing eFootball PES 2021 season update for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. eFootball PES 2021 season update is a football simulation game developed by Konami. The game can be played solo, offline or via a variety of online game modes. So what is the game like to play? While well, matches in PES take on a more tactical approach than a pure arcade style, the action is fairly slow and methodical with success coming from incisive passing moves, tactical awareness and the right formation and strategy to counteract your opponent. The passing is crisp although the ball doesn't move as fast as it should and this is a common issue throughout the game, it's a little bit tired and it's stale in terms of the pacing. It may be more realistic but in the end most matches end up as a slow, tedious stalemate. Also on the harder difficulties most teams feel the same when you play against them. It's very hard to differentiate one team from the next. There also seems to be a large amount of scripting going on as well. In particular if you're winning a match in the last 20 minutes your opponents miraculously turn into classic Barcelona and are literally untouchable. But barring these annoyances the gameplay is solid albeit a little bit too slow. In terms of game modes you've got a huge amount to choose from. eFootball offers a range of online divisions, tournaments, quick matches and co-op options, standalone leagues, cup competitions and an extensive training mode full of drills and challenges to hone your skills. And they've also included the official Euro 2020 tournament with all of the licensed branding as well. There is My Club mode which is similar to FIFA Ultimate Team in terms of its structure. You basically build a team from scratch, sign players, agents, managers, but this mode has its problems as online suffers from considerable button lag and it also uses the slow, zero speed setting. The menus are muddled and the whole mode is confused, poorly implemented and one I would definitely avoid. The two outstanding game modes are Become a Legend and Master League. In Become a Legend you create a player who you'll control for his entire career. It's a bit like the cult classic Libero Grande where you only control one player for the whole match. It does take a little bit of getting used to but it adds a huge amount of replay value as playing as a solitary player makes you appreciate the complexity of the team game much more. But again the best mode by far is the fantastic Master League. In this mode you select your team from a wide range of leagues around the world then you play and manage the roster over multiple seasons. You can select training regimes, use the much improved transfer system and also set the formation, strategy and promote youth players. There are real life managers to select like Diego Maradona and Ruud Hullet and these managerial cutscenes add some nice depth to the behind the scenes aspect of running a football club. It's a really satisfying feeling building a team, watching as the chemistry rises and you start to become a powerhouse in your chosen division. It can be unforgiving at first and building that special team will take time but it is very rewarding when you finally reach the summit. One massive problem with Master League however is the youth player system. There isn't one. For some reasons the developers haven't implemented a youth player generator so instead when players retire they become 16 years old again and end up in the youth teams. It's a complete immersion breaker and makes Master League only fit for purpose for one or two seasons. This isn't a new problem, it's been ever present for years yet Konami don't seem to be able to fix it but then again that's not the only part of the game that really isn't fit for purpose. There is the issue with unofficial kits, players and content. When you buy a sports game you expect real life players, teams, logos etc. Yet every year Konami release an unfinished game that isn't fully licensed instead featuring teams with made up names and made up kits. It feels like a very cheap move and I don't know why Konami don't get more heat for it. The game does however have an edit mode that allows you to mod the game but I still think it's unacceptable to release a sports sim with unlicensed content. I mean NBA wouldn't get away with it, NHL, NFL, UFC, none of those would get away with it at all so why does Pez? I don't know. However if you would like to mod the game I do have a video showing you how to do that. I'll put the link at the end of this review. Ok so a couple more points on gameplay, the referees in pairs completely ruin the games, their persistent blowing of the whistle, giving soft free kicks and breaking up play it totally kills the ebb and flow of the match. This is one instance of a game developer trying to imitate the real life sport without really thinking whether it makes for a good computer game. Tackling is almost non-existent because in the end you just drop off and defend deep because it's not even worth pressing due to the harsh referees. 
I also think the game is overpriced as 2021 isn't a new game, it's the 2020 version with a roster update and new kits. It's the same product, repackaged, and it's definitely not worth £25 if you own the previous version. It should have just been a 9 99 DLC for the previous game. So in summary, it's still a good football simulation, but one that's lost its fun factor. It's going down a more realistic route, and it's a little bit turgid, and there's, there's a lot of little problems that the developers just never seem to want to fix, so I don't think it's really going to win over a lot of new fans. Graphically, the game looks fine from a distance, stadiums look sharp, the official kits are well produced, and the menus are mostly clean and clear. The commentary, however, is appalling with the same two dull commentators we've had for years. Their descriptions, one-liners and repetitious content is dull, uninspired, poorly executed and in need of a massive overhaul. Like if you compare this commentary to something like NBA 2K for example, it's just laughable how awful the commentary here is, it's just so like they've so dialed it in, it really isn't, they haven't put any real considerable effort into it. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The Master League mode is still one of the best modes out there, the list of leagues and teams is extensive, Building a team is very satisfying, the edit mode allows you to mod the game with official kits, and the game has a good training mode. What's bad? The gameplay is way too slow and methodical, the commentary is complete dross, the game isn't fully licensed, it's literally the same game as last year, my club mode is a muddled, confused mess, online matches are littered with button lag, the referees are way too harsh, and in general, it's just not as much fun as it used to be. So what's the verdict? eFootball PES 2021 season update isn't a new game, it's not even an updated game. It's PES 2020 with a roster update, new kits and one new tournament. It's not worth £25 and the fact that Konami even bothered releasing such a half assed game this year really makes me worry about the future of the franchise. The gameplay is still good but it's leaning way too much toward a simulation and it's forgetting about one key aspect of what made the series so popular fun. I love football and I love PES and I have done for 20 years, but with each passing year the game seems to be morphing into a super serious simulation that just feels more like a chore to play than a joy. Personally, I don't think it's a good move and it's not going to win over new fans as I said before. You know, the FIFA crowd, they're not going to play this and go, oh I'll play PES now. You know, they've gone because they want fun and PES, it's not so much fun anymore. PES desperately needs more fans, it needs more sales so they can make the game better, make it more official, make it more fun, but based on what I'm seeing, they are definitely going in the wrong direction. So my score for eFootball PES 2021 season update is 7 out of 10. Okay, that was the review, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe, this is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.